Hi there, welcome to Riverside Personal Training. Uh, I'm Mr. Hurley here. I'm here with the intermediate class of 2016-2017. Uh, it's going to be a great new year, a whole new year of workout of the weeks. Today we are featuring four students in our workout of the week. We got, as always, an upper body, a lower body, a core, and a cardio. Okay? And today, we, with our four volunteers, we're going to start off with Markel. So camera, watch you come over here. We got Markel over here. He's working on the incline press. And the incline press. There's two ways of doing it. With the incline press, you can start off on a straight bar, which he's going to do. He's going to do about five repetitions in a row. He measures it up to make sure that the bar is out of line with the rack. Go ahead, go five repetitions there, Markel. You guys are right to the chest. Press it straight up. Go a few more reps out. So make sure you're touching the chest on each rep. One more. Go rack that up. And up. Sometimes you don't have the ability to uh, be in a gym, but we have dumbbells at home. So another thing you can do is use dumbbells and they are an incline press too. Uh, the, we got the chair set at incline, go ahead and do five repetitions. His elbows are right in line with the shoulders, bring it down and presses it right up. Go about two more repetitions and that also works the same muscle group. Dumbbells are a little bit harder than a straight bar because dumbbells require you to have um, just good support on each shoulder and sometimes you don't have that. So if you're doing it for the first time, try with the bar. If you're feeling comfortable, go with the dumbbells. Thank you very much, Markel. That's our upper body today. Uh, we're looking about three sets by 12 repetitions. So coming out over this side, we got our core right here. This is a kettlebell swing. This is Adam Ben here. Adam Ben is going to show us a kettlebell swing. He's going to pick up that kettlebell right here with the handle at the top. And he's going to go and start. Go ahead and do a few swings. You're going to see that he gets that bell up over eye line. Go a little bit fast right there. Pump that up. And he's letting that bell drop right between his legs and drive him from the heels. Go ahead and set that down. But if you don't have a kettlebell to work at home, you can also use a dumbbell. Pretty exact same motion. Hips, knees go down, do about three reps for me, Adam. All the way up. So just because you don't have the equipment doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, this is great for the core. It kind of works every single muscle in your body, including abdominals. Um, it's a core to extremity exercise. So. Um, you're using your shoulders to hold it up, to lift it up, but you're also using uh, your hips and your abdominals, glutes to help propel that uh, weight up. So that is your goal for the day. Uh, that, I want you to just do 50 repetitions right in a row as long as it takes. Over here we got Dante Hill. He's going to show us our lower body. Uh, this is a jump squat. He's going to show us three in a row right here. He's going to set himself up, hands out in front. He's going to jump right into it, fall right down to the next one. One more repetition, one more for me, one more. Awesome. So it is a high power motion. That's a high power motion where um, you need to have a lot of leg strength, a lot of hamstring, glute strength in order to do that. If you cannot get into the jump, just work on regular body weight squats and you can work that out. That is a great movement for the legs, especially if you're starting out. Same thing, we want to do uh, three sets of 20 repetitions in a row for both, either or. Last one we got, we got the jump rope station over here, Wilson Jimenez. Uh, he's going to start with a jump rope right here. He's going to put his foot on the side and make sure that both of his hands are even. He did a good job with that. He's going to propel the first few jump ropes with the start. He's got both his feet jumping at the same time, not one foot. His two feet jumping up. His knees aren't bending too much. It's mostly all lower body and calves. But you continually do this for about three sets of two minutes in a row. It's going to be a great cardio movement for you to do. Now, if you don't have a jump rope at home, you can throw that jump rope away. You can just you also can do a simulated motion too, without a jump rope, and that's pretending he has a jump rope around. Um, same type of movement, so you don't need a jump rope, you can still do this at home. Um, and that one, like I said, that is three sets of two minutes. So that's all we have from Riverside Personal Training. We hope that this workout of the week is a every week stop for you. And from always from Riverside Personal Training. Bye. Bye.